Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we'll be taking a look at value for value, getting paid uh, in Bitcoin via Satoshis, the smallest form of Bitcoin, uh, through the value tag right here at Casto. So if you've heard about this podcasting 2.0 thing and your podcast host doesn't support payments through podcasting 2.0 apps, well, maybe you should consider switching over to Castos or at least exploring this function and feature with me right now. A few short months ago, I put out a video on uh, the value for value tag when we announced it here at Castos. Um, but setting up a what's known as a lightning node was very confusing. Um, you had to set up a lightning node, you had to get a a node ID, you then had to copy and paste that ID into the value for value tag. Where do you get a lightning node and how do you trust uh, one of these outlets and is it complex to set up? Answer is yes to all of the above. I myself took to building what's known as an umbral server out of something also known as a Raspberry Pi. If you have no idea what any of those words mean, just keep skipping ahead to uh, the solution uh, and in front of us today, which is Albi. You can find Albi at getalby.com. It's what I found to be the fastest and easiest and most efficient way to get into the game of uh, setting up your value for value enabled podcast and then taking your Albi address and putting it right into your Castos account to start getting these payments over Bitcoin using any of the apps that you might find at newpodcastapps.com. Podcastindex.org has a great filter search feature that I have right up here. For instance, we're listed under the hosting, funding, and value tag search because, well, we're a podcast hosting company. We support the funding tag and the value tag to start accepting uh, Bitcoin payments, maybe even through your Lightning uh, address at Albi. Okay. I already have an account set up at getalbi.com. There's two components to this. There's the getalbi uh, user account dashboard, which you see right here, just a small test account. You can see I loaded my wallet here with 100,000 sats, which is roughly about 25 US dollars at the time that I did that. And I've sent out 85,000 sats, which uh, went to James Cridlin at Pod News to hopefully get some coverage on this podcasting 2.0 stuff that Castos is putting out. Come on, James. I mean, Everyone else is getting coverage. Why not us? Uh, and then you have the extension, the browser extension up top, which is lit up green because I can log in to get Albi using it. And it's going to be sort of the uh, the area of operation. So when you're sending sats, receiving stats, loading your wallet, uh, you're doing all of this through the browser extension. And it does some other things, which I'll save for uh, later on in the video. But setting up an account is really easy. Let's go ahead and just do that right now. We'll create a new account and you can see how to claim um, a GetAlbi address right now. So I'm gonna go to add new account. We're gonna click on Albi wallet and then we're gonna put in a uh, email address. So I'm gonna say Matt at Casos.com. I remember that password and then we'll say Castos Matt at GetAlbi. Hit continue. Now it says very <laughs> as quick as that success. Your Albi account is ready. Your Lightning address is Castos Matt at Get, get Albi. Want to use your wallet on mobile? I can uh, scan it with a QR code right here. If I was using Blue Wallet or Zeus, I'm just going to hit continue. It says awesome. You're ready to go. You have zero sats uh, in your account. When I go to the Castos Matt. Uh, uh, wallet up top in the browser extension, you can see right here, I have nothing in it. I have zero dollars, uh, but I can then start to set up my uh, account. So I would go to receive and amount in Satoshis. Uh, let's just type in 40. That's a penny. We'll go 400. That's eight cents. 4,000, 84 cents. We're getting closer. Uh, another zero is $8.36. So now what I'm going to say is with a description, this will be the initial invoice. And then I would create that invoice right here. Now on my mobile phone, what is tied to uh, a bank account, which is something that I would deposit money with, I would use uh, the Strike app. That's the app that I use. And then I can scan it uh, quite literally with my phone, this QR code that would scan it. And right here it says, you have insufficient balance, please try a smaller amount because what I have in my strike account is $5.31 right now. Um, but once you load some dollars into something like strike or the cash app, all one has to do uh, 
is scan this QR code to deposit the money that we set up before, which was the roughly $8 and change. Uh, once it's loaded up, you're ready to go. You're ready to start sending sats out to other people or you don't load it up at all and you wait for people to send you money. Let's take a look at how uh, to do that right now. I'm going to switch back to uh, the Matt Medeiros app or Albi app and then go to Casto. So once we're in our Castos account, we go to the settings of our podcast that we want to set up our value for value. Click on the listener support section on the left. And you can see right here on the right hand side, uh, we support the funding tag and the value for value tag. I already have my old uh, address in here. I have my funding uh, tag in here. And so what's the difference if you've never seen these fields before? Um, the funding tag sort of acts as just a link. It could be a link to like my buy me a coffee where people can buy me a virtual coffee to support the show. And then the value for value is the lightning ID, uh, node ID, which would help with streaming Satoshis, Boostergrams, sending these payments, etc. And Albi gives that to you. So if we go back into my Albi dashboard, you can see right down here at the bottom, we have uh, that node address. So all I have to do is copy this to the clipboard, go back to my Castos app, highlight my old one, paste in the new one, and hit save. Now my podcast settings have been updated, my value for value tag is there. It means anyone listening on any of the new podcast apps, uh, whether it's Fountain or on, on a mobile device, or if it's CurioCaster on the web, you can then send me Boostergrams, which are these one-off payments. I've made videos about that before, or you can stream Satoshis to me as you listen uh, to that podcast. Now, it's as easy as that. I know it's pretty complicated, lightning address, cryptocurrencies. I'm unsure if I want to try this stuff. It's pretty easy with Albi, um, I have to say. And there's, you know, a lot of other use cases to the way that Albi functions because they have this whole concept of an Albi address. You can actually copy and paste this little lightning node uh, or lightning uh, emoji with the Albi address right after it on Twitter. And you'll see right at the top, uh, the icon is no longer green like it was when I was logging into Albi, but it's blue, which means that somewhere on this page, specifically on Twitter, somebody has put in an address, me, uh, for an Albi address. And when I click that, you can see right here, it says Matt Report, uh, send Satoshis. If I'm using this, if I'm using uh, Albi in my browser and I want to send Satoshis to other creators, uh, they're making it super easy, right? A, an emoji, a uh, lightning emoji, the Albi address, Matt Reader said Albi, uh, or yours, and people can instantly send me Satoshis. It's, it's pretty cool. And you can put this on websites. You can put this, obviously, in your podcast. You can put it in your podcast show notes if you want it to appear on your website and have it sort of loaded right up into the website when somebody browses uh, to your um, to your web your podcast website with Albi activated. It's pretty awesome. It's pretty easy. Uh, and it's the one that I would recommend if you're just getting started in this whole value for value thing and you're unsure about running your own Umbral server. Why did I do that again? Uh, <laughs> I spent more money on an Umbral server than I'll probably ever make in the next year with uh, Satoshi um, sats being streamed to my podcast. But uh, it's a fun experiment anyway. GetAlbi.com. Check it out. It's as easy as signing up for an account, getting your Albi address, and then taking that uh, ID and putting it right into your Castos app. You'll start streaming. Uh, you'll you can start streaming uh, your podcast. People can start streaming you Sats, giving you boostergrams. It's easy. It's fun. Do all the things to monetize your podcast. Uh, plenty of ways to do it here at Castos through Satoshi's through subscription podcasts. We make it easy for you to do that stuff. If you like the video, thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. If you want more. Let me know in the comments. What else do you want me to cover? I hope this was helpful to you. Let me know if you have any questions about this stuff and we'll see you in the next video.